It's the moment that Keiko Aoki has been waiting for for decades. After being wrongly imprisoned for more than 20 years for murdering her young daughter, she is finally exonerated by a court. Today, instead of a mother who murdered her daughter, I can go back to being just a mother. Japanese prosecutors and courts did not consider evidence that showed she did not commit the crime. Instead, Aoki was convicted based on a confession she gave to police. But she says she was forced into making that confession. The police did all sorts of things to make me confess. From the very beginning, they had decided that I was a criminal. Even though I said I didn't do it, they never listened to me. It's a shocking accusation in a country where police and prosecutors are highly respected. But rights activists say there is mounting evidence of other dubious convictions because of loopholes in the law. In Japan, a suspect can be held for 23 days without charge. Police can interrogate them without a lawyer present and they don't need to record any of their questioning. Hiroshi Ichikawa is a former prosecutor turned whistleblower. He says authorities do abuse the system as he did. Ichikawa lost his job after threatening to kill a suspect during an interrogation unless he confessed. My boss told me to get confessions and he said you can abuse people to get it. That's what I was taught. My boss and his colleagues were probably taught the same thing. The government refused our request for an interview, while the police said in a statement that they are investigating these allegations. In Keiko Aoki's case, justice did eventually prevail. But she says there are others like her still languishing in Japan's prisons. Karishma Vyas, Al Jazeera, Osaka, Japan.